yeah, it's exciting. It was a quick little off season so far, so it's going to be back though. Talk about today, just getting out there and throwing the ball around and being out there. Yeah, the yeah, it's just good to get you know back into it. You know, I know we're not starting from uh, square one. We got a lot of experienced guys, so you know we're trying to get right back to where we left off and um, you know finish the better year. So it starts now. How big of a difference is that making? Because you said a lot of experience. There is a lot of experienced guys. How big of a difference do you see? Yeah, um, you know you don't really take a step back coming into spring ball. I think we kind of you know we jump right into the offense right from where we were and. Um, you know, the downside is that the new guys got to got to catch up. You know, I was lucky when I first got here, we started square one with the new offensive guys, and now it's, you know, we're, we're levels ahead of where we were. You're a guy that connected well with Neil two years ago when he played. What's, you know, how big of an advantage does he provide being back for you now? Yeah, super hardworking dude. Um, you know, I'm just excited for him to be back, especially he's got two years left. Um, you know, he's a threat. He's you know, you can use him in, in any angle. He's uh, gotten a lot quicker, you know, really smooth receiver. Um, he adjusts really well. I think that's uh, going to be huge to have him back on the field. Was it really cool to see him walk out there on the sideline, even though they told him, hey, you can't practice because of insurance, but yeah. he still wanted to be there? Yeah, he had the too bad of, like, the insurance thing, you know, whatever. But, um, you know, it's so good to have him out there. Um, we've been throwing a lot this offseason and stuff. And, you know, I can tell he's just excited to get back into it. Um, you know, he took his break really seriously. And, um you know, he's learned a lot, and I know he's going to come back and have a great year. What expectations did A-Rod and, and Grimes set for you in this quarterback room in spring ball? Yeah, you know, just to take the offense to another level, you know, be a, be a better leader, um, you know, someone that, you know, can, can uh, you know, rally the troops and um, someone that can just get us ready for battle, and I think that's uh, one of the biggest approaches I can take. And then, you know, obviously uh, as a quarterback room, um, just helping us win more games, I think that's, you know, the biggest focus. We just got to do better overall. Zach, in your mind, where are you on the depth chart at quarterback? Yeah, you know, it's uh, spring ball, so, you know, we kind of just, every day is a competition, so it's uh, how we take every day, and, you know, every day it's mixing it up, and so, you know, I'm going to come out there every single day like like I'm the guy, and, um, you know, uh, talk to my guys like I'm the guy, just to, you know, bring that leadership presence, and, you know, that's, uh, that's up to the coaches. So last year it seemed like the theme was explosive plays. Is there a theme this year offensively? Yeah, I think we're going to stick with the explosive plays, you know, but our, our biggest thing is just we got to score. Um, you know, aside from everything else, we killed it in the yardage last year, especially looking back from the year before is, you know, we crushed it as far as yards go per game and um, explosive plays that we had, but we, you know, we just didn't score. We struggled in the red zone, so that's a, that's a big point. Do you feel like you're further ahead at this point now that you're having an offseason where you can participate? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I would just say uh, the ability to just take a step back and, you know, kind of, a diagnose your play and um, you know your footwork and you know maybe hit the weight room a little bit work on some rehab I think that's that's huge that's where all the advantage comes uh, for players that get an off season and so you know I'm I'm really happy with where I'm at right now I feel like we can still take a lot of big strides throughout spring can you put on a little weight yeah yeah for sure I'm around 209 210 right now um, hoping I can keep keep climbing um, you know everyone loses a little bit of weight around season so I'm hoping I can get up around you know, 215, 220, whatever it is, whatever I'm comfortable at. Do you feel like you're at 100% because with the shoulder, the thumb, are you at 100%? Right yeah, now? yeah, I feel really good. Yeah, shoulder, thumb, feeling great. You know, obviously, uh, you know, the shoulder, you can always do more strengthening in the hand. You can always do more strengthening. But, you know, the way I feel the ball is coming off my hand is, is, you know, better than it was my freshman year. So, When you studied your film from last season, what areas do you feel like you got to get better into this season? Yeah, you know, there's a lot of things I could have improved in last year. Um, you know, I think a lot of it starts with my feet, my pocket presence. Um, you know, I think overall the ability for all of us to finish a game and, and score in the red zone. And, you know, I think um, a lot of that's just going to come with the connection of the guys, like, you know, being able to have that off season and throwing together and a spring ball together and, you know, lifting together. I think a lot of those are going to click. It's going to have the puzzle pieces getting back together. And so, you know, I really think a lot of that's going to come into play this year. Were the reps distributed today how you expected? Yeah, I mean, it's always yeah, it's always how spring ball is. Um, you know, spring ball is an opportunity to, you know, see what everyone's got. And so spring ball was huge for me when I first got here as a freshman because I was able to, you know, split reps with some of the other guys. And so, you know, it's the same exact thing this year as it was last year. And everyone's getting reps across the board, and it's pretty much, you know, it's a competition all the way around. Every single position, you know, we got tons of guys that are switching from offense to defense. So every day is a competition of every position. Zach, what was the best part about being out there today with your guys back on the field? Yeah, I think it was just the fact that this is my second to last spring ball. I mean, I look back on my career, and I feel like I just got here, and I feel like, 
you know, you got time and you just keep telling yourself you got time and now it's like, wow, you know, I'm considering an upperclassman now. And, um, it's my third rally around and so uh, you definitely just want to, you know, take advantage of every opportunity and, and, you know, pay attention to every single little detail and, and just hang out with the boys and, and just, just try and do something special. And then coming off of that question, what are you most excited for going into the season for your upperclassman yeah. entry? <laughs> yeah, I would just say to, you know, prove everybody wrong, the kind of, kind of team we are. I think a lot of people look at the record and, you know, we didn't change over the last two years, but I think, uh, you know, among the offensive guys, we know how much better we were, and, you know, it's too bad I didn't show on the record because that's what really matters, and so I think, you know, this is one more opportunity for us to really take it to another to another step and just, you know, dial it in and then win some more games and finish some strong games. You kind of know that most of the four guys for the last year or two, but what do you make of the new kid, Mason, in that room? Yeah, What's that dude, impression? yeah, he's a stud, you know, he's, a, he's an overall around just, like, great athlete, and... You know, I haven't seen him play too much just because we just started, but one of the things that pops to me is just, you know, his character, his enthusiasm. You know, he's a very um, uplifting dude, you know, even though he's, you know, kind of at the bottom where he is right now just because he just got here. You know, he's one of those guys that, you know, he's going to be full supportive of, of anything that happens. And so uh, it's good to have someone like that in the weight room that's going to, or in the, in the quarterback room, that's going to push everybody. So he's a, he's a great person to have around.